Well, well, well. What do we have here? Federally recognized tribes should brace for possible termination policy under Trump. Well, I told people this was coming. I told them for years that this was coming. Whether people wanted to listen or not, it's on them, it ain't on me. I was telling people this band back in 2009, 2010, that when the United States begins to tighten its belt, that all expenditures deemed unnecessary would be cut. They would have to go. And although it started with the Mash P. Wampanoa, Standing Rock isn't over either. And the other so called tribes and reservations, they might as well be on the lookout as well. This is the same thing with. Cherokee Nation versus the state of Georgia that went to the Supreme Court in the 1830s. And the Cherokee had won the Supreme Court case, the United States Supreme Court case for their land. And Andrew Jackson said, well, the Supreme Court has made their decision. Now, let them enforce it. And so the trail of tears began. They still got marched out. See, here's the thing that people are not looking at. If you go back 160, 170, hell, even 150 years ago, the so-called Indian were very very, very heavily melanated. And they became subsumed under the laws of Jim Crow, the damage that Walter Plecker done with the Racial Integrity Act of 1924. And our ancestors, they lost their rights to this soil. Not only did they lose the rights to the soil, actually it was taken from them. But you have to understand that they're doing all this thing by way of trust law. And because they're doing this thing by way of trust law, you have to understand that these people on these reservations, who for the most part look European, or they look mulatto, they do not look like the original peoples of the lands like us between 150 and 170 years ago. Not only was the Racial Integrity Act Jim Crow damaging but I honestly believe that there was some form of campaign that was used globally and I've talked about this with several people if you go to China the original people of Manchu, Manchuria they're dark skinned they, the ones today do not look like the original so called Chinese go to Indonesia, same thing. You go to uh, Southeast Asia, same thing. I'm thinking that there was some type of global campaign to eliminate the dark skin, humiliated aboriginals of the land around the globe. 
and they became supplanted with the modern phenotypes that you see today. One thing about it, karma, the divine law of retribution will always swing the pendulum back to the direction from whence it came. So this is very interesting. Let's take a look at this. Federally recognized tribes should brace for possible termination policy under Trump. Whether we like it or not, Saglutu Pia Gatak, compulsive liar in Enopiatu, now President of the United States and Republicans control Congress. Federally recognized Alaska Native and American Indian tribes should brace for the worst, including the possibility that Congress may move to terminate federally recognized tribes. The termination era of 1953 to 1968 involved Congress stripping tribes of their lands and criminal jurisdiction. The policy was thinly disguised as an attempt to lift American Indians and Alaska Natives out of poverty by assimilating them into mainstream society. However, the real goal was to privatize and ransack American Indian and Alaska Native lands. From the American Indian Relief Council, from 1953 to 1964, 109 tribes were terminated federal responsibility and jurisdiction was turned over to the state. Governments approximately 2,500,000 acres of trust land was removed from protected status. 12,000 Native Americans lost tribal affiliation. Lands were sold to non-Indians. Tribes lost official recognition by the U.S. government. Public Law 280 passed in 1953 turned power over to state governments to enforce most of the regular criminal laws on reservations as they were doing in other parts of the state. So I blew to Piagatak's administration, however you pronounce that word, excuse me, I'm quite sure I'm probably butchering it. Administration apparently began mobilizing to pursue the privatization of Indian lands early as October 2016 with the formation of his 27-member Native American Affairs Coalition. The coalition is chaired by Cherokee Pretendian Representative Mark Wayne Muller. Like the termination policy of more than 60 years ago, the coalition contends that impoverished tribes are saddled by federal regulations that stymie self-reliance and prosperity. Tribal land should be privatized, it argues, so that American Indians can pursue development projects that lift them out of poverty. Sagrutu Piagatax has tapped Montana Representative Ryan Zinke for Secretary of the Interior. A federal agency overseeing the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Zinke is known as Zinke is a known fraudster with little integrity. Scientific American characterizes Zinke as a mixed bag with an anti-environment pro-industry voting record. It is unlikely that he will be a friend to Indian country or to Alaska natives. Some estimate that American Indian lands held in trust by the federal government hold as much as one-fifth of the nation's oil and gas along with significant coal reserves. Saglutu Piagatak released his America First Energy Plan hours after being sworn into office. States the following. Sound energy policy begins with the recognition that we have vast untapped domestic energy reserves right here in America. Trump administration will embrace the shale oil and gas revolution to bring jobs and prosperity to millions of Americans. We must take advantage of the estimated 50 trillion in untapped shale 
oil and natural gas reserves, especially those on federal lands that the American people own. American Indian reservations are federally owned lands held in trust for tribes. The vast untapped domestic energy reserves referred to in Saglutu Piagatak's energy plan are largely within American Indian reservations. These lands would need to be sold or leased to private sector corporations by the federal government in order for development to proceed. But first, Tribal jurisdiction over those lands will need to be terminated by Congress and vested in states. The termination era from 1953 to 1968 shows us that tribal lands and thus tribal governments, peoples, and cultures remain vulnerable to the whims of Congress. There is a strong possibility that American Indians may soon be fighting against a renewed and calculated assault on their political, cultural, and spiritual existence. Right. Well, what I have to say is this right here. There have been several of our people who have traced their lineages to these various tribes. They've gone to these tribes, shown the lineage, and because they do not match the current phenotype that is being displayed today, they have been denied tribal status, tribal citizenship. The original, <laughs> the original is denied by the Bulato and the imposter, $5 Indian. So, this is just a first of series of many more cuts to come for these tribes as well as Social Security. Social Security is on the chopping block. Uh, food stamps, any type of federal program that people are used to receiving or participating in, you can best believe your bottom dollar. It is going to get chopped. Even if you have your money, or well, excuse me, your currency, because banks don't hold money, money is gold and silver. Your currency in these so-called FDIC institutions. FDIC is $700 trillion in debt with derivative liabilities. There is no way in the hell that they can insure your currency. If this system collapses, you will be the last to receive anything. Please believe it. What this is going to boil back down to, like I've been telling people, it's going to boil back down to the original landmarks of the land, who put them there, the epigraphical evidence, as well as the genetic, phenotypical, morphological evidence of the original people. Just like Alabama Senator Scott Beeson told you who the people of Alabama were that were misnomer as Negro, Black, African American, and color. He told you they are Borgines. They are not Indians. Indians is a federal term. Have your way with it. Look it up. I've been telling you people this for the longest. Now it's knocking on your doorstep with Trump. So, one thing I can tell you is, people, y'all better figure it out. Because as things get tighter and tighter in the global economy, the United States is going to be figure out, is going to be figuring it out, or trying to figure it out, how it can do a majority of things that it needs on its own. It is going to do what's called a do for self policy. They are going to that. The same thing the Honorable Elijah Muhammad of the Nation of Islam was saying back in the 50s and the 60s do for self. Now the United States is applying that. They're going to go with what's called do for self. Any resources that they have uh, access to, they're going to use them. The only way we are coming up out of this 
is it the Paleo American? Talk to us at Boy Gene Moore and Pre Columbia Moore. Stand up. Claim our landmarks. Demonstrate who we are, morphologically, genetically, genealogical wise, the whole nine, the history of the land, all of that stuff comes into play in a unified front. And then it has to go back to the original trusteeship. If you don't know who the trusteeship of the Americas was held in, you need to go and read Dakota Time Walker by Merida Musa Quinn. He told you before he died in that book. And he looked like uh, a mulatto, mongoloid, slash European. But he told you that the Moors were the trustees of the Americas before the European even came here. And the three languages that were spoken on this continent, Arabic was the global language of trade and commerce. Latin was spoken as well as Meduneta was spoken. So if you're not familiar with that, go to the historical readings, another documents folder in my OneDrive, Dakota Time Walker, it's in there. So go avail yourself to that knowledge. But this is where we at now, y'all. This is just the beginning. Y'all haven't seen nothing yet. You know, it's gonna be a lot of cuts across the board on some of everything. So I hope y'all can keep up. I hope you're prepared. Get ready and stay ready. So that way you won't have to get ready if you're already ready. So y'all take a look at this man. Think about what I'm saying. That's all I have to say. Peace and love. I shake.